Hi friends, it's me Nikki here and Bentley and Albert and today we want to share with you what Bentley and Albert have been enjoying lately as far as their meals, a homemade dog food recipe, so let's get started. Okay friends, so I want to share with you one of my methods for making their dog food and it's with using a tray and why I like using a tray to categorize, sort out their food before I mix it is it lets me see the portion sizes um, kind of lined up and it's an easy way to put the food kind of as you make it. You have a place to put it as you make it. So the first thing we're going to do for Bentley and Albert's meal is we're going to get some water boiling because I'm going to boil some eggs because that is going to be a part of this recipe for them. Um, this is going to make about uh, four days worth of food for Bentley and Albert. Uh, they are pretty good eaters to be little, <laughs> little pups, but they eat pretty well, but this will last us um, four days. So I have some ground turkey here and Bentley and Albert like a com combination of meats. They like ground turkey, they love chicken. Um, they also like ground beef, but I would say that probably chicken is their favorite and the portion that they like is the chicken thighs. And they also like um, the livers also. So because I first put my eggs on, because I wanna get those going, and now I wanna get their ground turkey brown. So I wanna get that going. The next thing from there, I want to get their sweet potatoes ready so that I can get those chopped up and in the oven because those, those are gonna take about 25, uh, 25, 28 minutes to roast. And I roast those in the oven, but I cut them up into the bite-sized pieces before I do that. But I'm just giving them a nice rinse and washing them off. I do leave the skins on the potatoes for them. They love it. Sweet potatoes is one of their go-to foods. They actually like the sweet potatoes more than they like carrots. And so I tend to use sweet potatoes more than I do carrots. Um, sometimes I do like to mix them up and give them the carrots, but for the most part, if you ask Bentley and Albert, they love the sweet potatoes. So when I'm chopping them up, it's about making them into those bite-sized pieces that I'm always telling you, I always cut their food up for the size of their mouth. And so that's one thing that I would recommend if you're making dog food is to make sure that you're cutting it up that, that appropriately for your dog. Another thing that I wanna say is that check with your vet before you make homemade dog food to make sure that the items that you're putting into the food is um, kind of good for your breed, your dog, okay? So friends, how we typically make their food is on Sundays we make a batch, a four day batch, and then also on Fridays we make a four day batch and that gets us through. So keeping that cycle really helps us make sure that we always have food on hand for Bentley and Albert and it keeps their food fresh. Now we can make some ahead and freeze and I will do another video on kind of making those types of meals for your pets. But what we're going to do today is again, gonna last us for four days. So I'm just getting some olive oil and I'm just kind of making sure to coat all of the sweet potatoes really good before I place them into the oven. And again, this is the sheet pan that is going to hold all of the different um, categories of their food. But first I'm going to roast, use it to roast my sweet potatoes. And then once I take those out, I'll slide it to the side and then go from there. And when Bentley and Albert sees a certain pan or they see the sweet potatoes and things like that, they are so smart. They know what time it is. I think they even know what days of the week we cook. And so they are waiting for this meal and they are waiting for me to fill those bowls. They know when we're in the kitchen making their, specifically their food. Very smart, very smart. And so they are waiting for us to get them good and fed. And so and let me ask you and let me know in the comments, what is that thing that your pup, what do they do to let you know that they're ready to eat? For Bentley and Albert, they literally lick their lips. They come up to us and they look at us and they start licking the lips and we know it's time to eat. They, they are so funny with that. And also, if you're not subscribed to At Home with Bentley and Albert, Bentley and Albert would love to have you as a part of our family. So definitely click that subscribe button and also click, click that bell in the description box below to know when they post their videos. Bentley and Albert, they post their videos every Tuesday and Thursdays now. So you know you can find your Bentley and Albert every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. So I hope you will subscribe. So now that the sweet potatoes are done, I'm just pushing them to the side because again, like I said in the beginning, Beginning, I like to put all of the food items, the categories on one tray because then I can see my portion sizes are good and it makes it really simple to blend the food. And so as I'm cooking and I finish one, I can put it on the tray, then wash that pan. I can then make the next, put it on the tray and it kind of gives
gives me a place to kind of transfer the food as it's prepped and ready for blending. Now, I love my chopper here. And if you're gonna make homemade dog food, I say this is definitely a must have. It just really keeps it simple when chopping up their food. Um, and I have to chop up Bentley and Albert's food really kind of really well for them. And so what I do is I just take this chopper for the spinach and I just chop it really finely. Um, and it blends really well into the rest of their food. So I would recommend one of those choppers. And I'll put a link in the description box below um, for the one that I have in case you're interested in that. So that sheet pan and that chopper, I would say is a must. So the next thing is about peeling those eggs and getting those ready and prepped. And the eggs are going to get sliced also. And I make those also into those bite-sized uh, pieces for Bentley and Albert and they love eggs. So do your dog love eggs? Let me know in the comments What are those um, favorite foods that your dog have? So also let me know that so Bentley and Albert they really love I mean chicken I would say is number one then sweet potato and then I would say eggs is their third So having all three uh, or two of the three combinations in this meal is a big plus for Bentley and Albert So now you'll see that I have all the food in here and you will clearly see that the meat is a little um, more than the others. But, you know, when I cook human food for them, I always add in a supplement because although we cook um, food for our dogs, they do have special needs when it comes to supplementing. And you can definitely talk to your veterinarian about that. And I re recommend 100% that you do. So I sprinkle a little of their um, nutrient over their food before I give it a nice toss. And then this is the fun part, blending it all together. I always enjoy this part um, of the process. So on the tray, I just simply take all of those ingredients and I just blend them well so that they, so that when I serve it up to them, they have a good mixture of everything, a good blend of the eggs and the spinach and the meat and the sweet potatoes. And this is the meal. This is what Bentley and Albert's, one of their favorite go-tos, really simple to make, really quick to make and using that sheet tray kind of method is really easy and it helps with cleanup and things like that and so now it's about getting Bentley and Albert in here and they are going to suck this down in no time this is like literally one of their favorites and they have no problem cleaning the plate on it so I had to actually put them out of the room so that I could film this even for a second because if they saw those bowls they would have been all over it and you wouldn't have seen anything so um, they don't tend to stay in their own bowls they love to share bowls and but the one thing I can say about them is that they don't um you know, they don't fight when it comes to food or anything like that. Sometimes Bentley can get a little something with a treat, a little antsy with a treat, but for the most part, um, they're really good about sharing their food. So good for you, Bentley and Albert. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed seeing uh, this meal that Bentley and Albert is enjoying. This is what they actually had for the week. I will definitely come back with more videos. If you like these homemade dog food recipes, please click that like button. That's really so important for me and it helps me know um, what kind of content to bring you. Have a beautiful day, my friends. This is Nikki, Bentley, and Albert saying goodbye.